Frequent vandalism in the Old Town area has led to businesses taking matters into their own hands. Julian Potter's caught up with city officials to find out if anything could be done about the problem. Julian. That's right. So Albuquerque officials are mindful of the Old Town area. They say it's a great place for business and they want people to understand that they want it to be protected. But the businesses here are saying otherwise. They say they're tired of waiting for results. Whether it's happened to them once or five times, they just want the vandalism to stop. To see boarded up windows and burnt out buildings, it's terrible. Pete Casetas is the owner of Outpost 1706 and says there have been too many incidents of vandalism towards his business and one surrounding him. It's gotten to the point where he and others in the Old Town area have been taking action themselves. We pay for private security. We don't pay for it to post here because that's, that's not economically feasible. It's too expensive. He says laws aren't being enforced and offenders are being let out too soon to return to the area. Mayor Tim Keller and Councilman Joaquin Baca saying Old Town has become a target for criminals, but is reassuring business owners and others action will be taken. Old Town is open for business and safe. The problem is late at night. And this is where we're going to step in and uh, take some big steps. Old Town is also located in Baca's district. He adds it's an important part of Albuquerque's business environment and wants to take action to protect businesses and the people who love the area. So I have talked with Chief Medina. I've also talked with Sheriff Allen about his metro unit. But how we can better coordinate downtown, we'll be having a community meeting here coming up probably within the next week. Caseta says he appreciates the words being said, but as a former police chief, he appreciates action being taken more than anything. Talking's over. It's been over. We've been talking about this for a year now. If you have to come out here and figure out what's going on, you're behind the power curve. Now, coming up in the next hour, businesses talk about how they got to this point. City officials touch on some of the investments they want to make here in Old Town. In Old Town, Julian Paras, KRT Action 7 News. Julian, thank you. About 50 business owners in Old Town pay to have private security on standby, but they say the more they call them into service, the more expensive those calls become.